Hey there and welcome to another SimFig tutorial. Today I'm going to introduce you to gradients and another very important thing of SimFig which is called encapsulation. Now encapsulation is just a big word for the idea of grouping things together. Using encapsulation we can apply a gradient to one layer such as this circle here without applying it to any layers beneath it. So I'm going to begin by removing all the objects from my canvas. Okay, now I have a blank canvas again. I'm going to start by creating two circles. Just click and drag them out. Remember you can always undo something with Control Z. Now let's get our gradient tool. And just for fun I think I'll switch the color to red here. Click, close. Okay, drag your gradient over the area you want it to span. Okay, now the first thing you should see is that it's just covered the entire canvas. Now this can be very useful for a background layer, but we want to put it onto our objects. So first select your gradient layer, then go over to the object parameters, and change the blend method to straight onto. Okay, now you can see that the gradient has been applied to the object layers behind it. But what if you want to apply the gradient to just one object and not all the objects below it? This is where we need encapsulation. We want to select the gradient and the object we want to apply it to and encapsulate them together. This is the small circle here. This is the gradient. After you have them both selected, right click on either of them and select encapsulate. Click on the triangle to show the encapsulated layers. You can see one gradient and one circle inside of it here. And on our canvas you can see that the gradient is only applied to the smaller circle now. Let's create one more circle to see how this works a little better. Drag it out and let go. Okay now let's drag this new circle inside the encapsulated area and this is what it looks like. The gradient is covering all objects inside the encapsulated area. If I move the gradient down one layer inside the encapsulated area then it only covers the objects it is above. And that's really the basics of using gradients and encapsulation. Just take some time and play with it yourself and see what you can do. Thanks for watching PenguinTutorials.com